but the information is a sworn document signed by the complainant, generally a member of the Gardaí, and the district court judge. And for that, the warrant will issue. Note that Section 5 of the 1997 Act provides that the arresting Garda doesn't, doesn't have to have the warrant on him, but it may, must be produced to the accused as soon as possible. And in fact, there's very little to be said about the Supreme Court in terms of criminal procedure. It's primarily an appellate court. Uh, you'll note the footnote 10 on page 149, and that refers to the fact that the Attorney General may appeal to the Supreme Court on a point of law following a judge-directed acquittal in the Central Criminal Court. And so that won't affect the, um, the punter um, if, if he's been lucky enough to have the judge direct an acquittal in the Central Criminal Court, the, the acquittal stands, uh, but the point of law can be tested in the Supreme Court. You'll note that a serious offence is an offence um, which merits five years or more. So if you're ever in the, the District Court and the judge refuses it because it's likely that this guy will um, commit another offence, just be aware that you may have a challenge to that decision. You may have possibly even a judicial review um, because depending on the offence that your person is charged with, it may be that that's a, a wrong criteria. If your man isn't charged with a serious offence, then the section wouldn't come into play. The position with regard to detention was up in the air for, you would say, the first 50, 60 years of the state. Phrases like, you know, arrested for questioning um, were, were used, despite the fact that they had no power. Um, people would be questioned under Section 30 of the Offences Against the State Act, even if it didn't, if the offences had only a tangential relationship to, um, to the Offences Against the State Act. You haven't been convicted, there's a presumption of innocence. Now, the two key areas that we look at with regard to bail are the conditions on which bail will be granted and the grounds on which it can be refused.